Welcome back uh, with this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a cinematic uh, video shot with the iPhone 13 mini or you can do with the Pro uh, not on the phone directly which uh, as you can see you can do quite easily but uh, on computer using Final Cut Pro. So the first step uh, is to export the video from the iPhone to the computer using AirDrop but make sure to select all photo data if you don't do that the file will not recognize in Final Cut Pro as a cinematic video now when you are on the computer you're gonna see that you have four video instead of one you need to pick up the video that doesn't have the E it doesn't have image E, so you need to pick up the other one, image and, the, and then the number. They look uh, quite similar video, but for some reason the one without the E is the one you want to use. So now you can drag in the timeline of Final Cut Pro. Since uh, um, the iPhone record this video in HDR, you could create uh, a library for HDI, uh, HDR. Apple advised to do that and uh, I will put a link in the description. However, I never work with this uh, uh, gamut uh, H HLG, so I actually don't know how it works. But for our video we can use just the regular timeline. So after you place the video in the timeline you can see you can select the cinematic tool from the bar over there but also to make to make it work you need to go in the inspector panel and select cinematic. Now you can point to the object to change the focus. Very easy like that. On the cap, on the keyboard, everywhere. Also you can change the depth of focus, right now this is 2.8 but you can put uh, 2.0 or you can up, uh, go up uh, up to 16. It would be cool if you could, could do more, 1.8, 1.4 because everything is done uh, by software, it's not, it's not the real video was shot uh, 2.8. But that's really cool. Also on the timeline on the video you can uh, right click and click the cinematic editor. It will show all the point of focus that were made on the iPhone. But you can delete them and create new ones. Right now let's see, it's, uh, the first thing focus was the, I think the monitor and then it flipped to other object. But you can simply uh, select one change the point of focus maybe you, we want to select the, just the cap and then we can delete the other one so the focus will stay still on the cap then maybe we can leave uh, the other one to go on the monitor so now cap is all in focus keyboard uh, now let's take the monitor okay and that delete okay so so it's the cap, 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 then switch to monitor, and done. And it's a very, very cool feature. It's probably the iPhone record the, the scene uh, all the same way, very sharp, but then with the software you can do this effect. But it's still a very cool feature that you can do after work in post-production. So that's all for this tutorial, if you like my video, subscribe and click the like button. See you next time, bye bye!